Prince of Jesus. On October 4th, the church will celebrate a great saint by name, St. Francis of Assisi. You see, St. Francis was born in Italy and he grew up in a wealthy family. It is said about him that, you know, he wouldn't even come close to lepers at one point. But then one day, something spoke, or rather, someone, God, the Holy Spirit within his heart. And he came off of his horse and he embraced a leper. Later on, when he turned back to see where the leper was, there was no one. St. Francis always said that it was Christ at that point in that leper. It was Christ that embraced Francis. You see, Francis, as a young man, answers the call then to follow God. First and foremost, he gives off, he lets go of all of his wealth and becomes poor for the poor. He received that call that he heard Francis, rebuild my church. So Francis answers the call first, literally, and he starts rebuilding and fixing old churches and old chapels. But then later on, he realizes that God is calling him to rebuild his church, the people of God. You see, the church is the people of God. We are the church. And the church in 11 in the 12th century and the beginning of the 13th century needed that great saint, Saint Francis, who will become a saint, as they say, for even for the nature, for the animals. It is also said of him that when nobody else wanted to listen to him, he would be preaching to the birds, to the animals. Saint Francis, a great saint, that made that reformation of the church, that rebuilt the church. And very soon, there were almost 5,000 followers. And to this very day, the Franciscan order still exists. And our current Pope, even if he's the first Pope to take the name Francis, and he said when he was elected as a Pope eight years ago, he said when asked, why did you choose the name Francis? And he said, it is because of St. Francis of Assisi. And he said, I chose that name because church is poor for the poor. You know, you and I are so fortunate that we live in, in Canada or North America. And then all those Catholics that live in Europe, we're fortunate that we're blessed with abundance. But really, the majority of the Catholic Church throughout the world is poor. South America, Asia, Africa. When we look at it, the Church is poor. The people of God are very poor. So, by celebrating this great saint, we want to be reminded of God's great love for the poor and that we are called to always extend our loving hand to the poor, be it in deed or in word, as we help them. Let me conclude with that beautiful prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life.